Hi guys, thank you for visiting my Samurai Japan English Vlog. Konnichiwa! On April 27, 2019, it was just about one year ago, three of us took a train here in Hokkaido and headed off to Malaysia again for one week travel. It has been our first trip to Malaysia in three years since we went back here in Hokkaido last time. But this year, we can't even get on a train because of COVID-19. I was just looking at the train, musing over past memories of Malaysia. Yes, we also have trains in Japan. But Malaysian trains are awesome to Japanese. Hi! Okay, let me tell you some features of Malaysian trains that I came across today. Awesome features number one, too many instructions. While in Japan, I just thought all passengers needed to understand before getting on trains was just pay and wait, that's it. But there in Malaysia, it appears that there were 12 instructions that you have to keep in mind. Is train such difficult transportation system? It is interesting, but somehow it makes me nervous. Come to think of it, you might have the similar experience in using an escalator. Don't take the escalator before understanding these 8 instructions. いいですか? Awesome features number 2. Cool token. In fact, Malaysian train system has introduced various advanced technology. Unlike Japan, it appears that they sell passengers not tickets but tokens. Wow! A simple but cool design. Nothing like this could be seen at Mori Fantasy or Kitsanya KL. Because the token is really cool, I wanted to buy an extra one and brought it in Japan. And just out of curiosity, I tried cutting it to see the inside of the token. Have you ever seen the inside of the token before? Okay, I show you. Ikuzo! It's made of plastic, but very hard to be cut. Hmm, somehow almost done. What this green stuff? Take it out. Something like an IC chip. Maybe this one memorized the data. Ta-da! It's cutting edge technology. Awesome features number three. You are rushing on to the train can kill you. In KL and its suburbs, there are very convenient transit systems. Thanks to its advanced technology, some of them appear to adopt unattended operation, namely no conductors on trains. In Japan, there are many train otaku who enjoy taking photos of trains and related scenery. If you are also train otaku, you can enjoy awesome views like this because there is no conductor's room which interrupts the front views of the train. Meanwhile, there is something that you should keep in mind. Because it is an attended operation, the train relentlessly shuts the doors while you are rushing onto it. I tried rushing one day in Malaysia when I was really in a hurry, but my arms were sandwiched between the doors. So. Next one. Awesome features number four. Silence is golden. In Japan, one of the most annoying matters while you are on a train will be frequent announcement by conductors. They keep speaking to you while you are reading, speaking, and sleeping on the train. It goes on and on like a chit chat of the noisy classroom. What with each station name you will be passing by, various instructions, promotion sales information of novelty goods and discount coupons, apology statement and the reason why the train left three minutes late. Meanwhile, the announcement of Malaysian train is much simpler. They say almost nothing but a particular phrase like Station Briconia. But mind you, this Station Briconia is announced on a really nice low voice so, it is stuck in your mind even after you went back to your country. On the other hand, 
I found that there is also a downside of simple announcement through my experience in Malaysia. One day, I took a train going from KL to Ipoh. It was a long distance train, but regrettably, it stopped between stations for half an hour of all things. Even so, any announcement was not released while it kept us waiting. If you face the same situation in Japan, the railway company would give you some explanation through train announcement regarding what happens, why it happens, when it is prospected to be fixed, related information of transfer trains, and even billing methods for compensation with apologies. Frankly speaking, yeah, Malaysian service might be some inconvenient, but I think that it makes sense too. I'd say Japanese service often has too much frills that causes the entire inefficiency in the long run. In other words, it might be nice to customers, but could be hard on workers and bring about stressful life. Finally, awesome features number 5, others. Other than that, as Japanese, I enjoyed a few features of Malaysian trains. You'll be surprised at finding broken window panes. Are you okay? Daijoubu desu ka? Or you'll be surprised to know that making out in a train is against the regulations in Malaysia. Typically Japanese young couple, be careful not to be arrested in Malaysia. Okay, now we are struggling with the damage of COVID-19. But please visit Hokkaido again and also enjoy our train system when we overcome the virus. You might also be able to enjoy cultural differences as they did in Malaysia. For instance, some cities in Hokkaido have city trams. Would you know that the train has emotional character of animation like this? Or would you know that in winter season, a snow removing vehicle also runs through? Or would you know that in spring, the surface paved road beside the railway often has been fragile because of the long period of clearing snow in winter? That's all. Thanks for watching. Sayonara! Japan boy!